Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. I am here this morning and I have lots of things to do, but if you're new here, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, okay? I am LaShawn. I am divorced mother of three adult children. I'm a surgical tech. I'm a United States Navy veteran. And now I spend my time here on YouTube trying desperately to uplift, encourage, and motivate as many people as I can. And today is one of those days where you push yourself to do more than you do on a regular day. I have to take a JTA van, which will take me to the VA in Jacksonville, Florida. And then I have to get off that van and I have to load the DAV van, which is for disabled veterans. And then I have to take that van and take that van all the way to Gainesville, an hour and 45 minute ride and uh, go up to Gainesville because I have to go see a hematology specialist about my bone marrow results. I have to do all of that. That's the first appointment. I have two. And then the second is the infusion part, which is my potassium, magnesium, uh, iron, and I'm also going to get a B12 shot today. So I'm looking like this now, but I might be looking like, ah, <laughs> B12 is, is really, it's really the, the combination of all those things together help me to give me the energy I need because my body does not store iron the way it should. So anyway, that's what I have to do today. Long day. And then once I get finished with my appointment at the Gainesville, the DAV van is going to take me all the way back to Jefferson VA in downtown. Then I have to wait for my paratransit for JEA, which takes me from there to my house. So that is a long process. And, um, I'm always stiff afterwards. I'm feeling good right now, but I've got lots of stuff to do. I got the papers that I need, the last set of blood work. So all I have to do is go to my appointment with a positive attitude and uh, ready to receive great news. I'm going to speak it into existence. So if you are like me and you have chronic illness, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're dealing with, you wake up with a positive attitude and you do your prayer, okay? You pray and you thank God for another day and you don't complain. Remember, we don't complain. We only look for solutions. So we're not complaining about our chronic illness. We're trying to find solutions to live a better life so that we can live a life with as less pain as possible. And that's what I strive for every day. So my attitude is very important, and I encourage you that if you have something difficult that you have to face, that you put on your big girl pants and you put on your big boy pants and you do the very best you can. I'm so sick of people always shooting people down and breaking, trying to break their spirit. Okay, what is that all about? Lift people up, encourage, motivate. Okay, so whatever you got going on today, do your best. I got to go. My ride will be here soon, but remember, watch the whole video. I would appreciate it if you did. I'm asking you to, if you would. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, click that bell so that you're notified every single time that I do a video. So God bless you all, and enjoy the video. This is the transit uh, JTA van that I take that'll get me to um, the Jacksonville uh, Jefferson Street VA and so now we're almost there and I'm getting ready to go inside This is the VA in Jacksonville, Florida, and I have to walk to the end here, and I have to
Okay, so I took the van. Uh, it takes about an hour and 45 minutes to get to the VA hospital in Gainesville, Florida. And now I'm ready for one or two appointments. They got two TVs in here. One is stuck on whatever that is. The other one is on watching a, um, not flipping houses. When they decide if they're going to sell the house or not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wait. It's the same thing that I do. And I just sit here and wait and wait and wait. He's so above, just walk past on the floor, and I'm trying to capture him. That joker hide, and he ain't ready for you to. Okay. This is, um, wow, this is the place where I get my, um, This is a very long process and I'm going to try to get a nap in now. I'm really tired. Um, so thank you for joining me today. The rest will be no talking as I get my nap in before I eat my sandwich. I'm ready to go. I'm in the elevator and I'm out of here. You know what I was thinking? Why do these damn halls of the VA look like they straight from a Halloween movie? Okay. Look at these long halls. Can you imagine these halls at nighttime? Uh-uh. I, I couldn't do it. So now it's time to head back to Jacksonville, and I have to go now back to the Jefferson Street VA and wait on my JTA ride. Another two processes. Oh, guess who's back? I am back for my appointment. It was freezing, absolutely freezing upstairs. It's just... It was cold, then it was hot. When they put you in the hallway, then you got to wait, and then you got to go back in the back, and it's always freezing in there. They do have warm blankets, though. So I just want to say thank you for joining me on this journey today. It was a long day. And um, I'm telling you a couple of things that I learned today. I learned that everybody don't do um, things the same way. Um, when I go to cancer specialists out in town, they do things in a way, and it's run so efficiently and everything. And I saw pure chaos today. And I was just looking at the people running around with no real organization. And I just was thinking about all the ways I can improve the way this office was ran. The little station where all the patients are and sitting is no sense of privacy. Everybody, you got that one sick, that one. It's just no sense of privacy the way it's set up. And I just wish that it was like a curtain they can put in between because some people's sickness is at different levels. And it's it's really sad what I witnessed today. And I'm going to leave that to myself.
but I will say this. Please pray for people when you see them. And please remember that when you're ready to open your mouth and complain and say, Oh, I hate this place. It's horrible. Ah. That when you say that, you got to remember, you walked into that facility. It's somebody that got pushed in there. It's somebody who's in a wheelchair. Somebody who can't walk. It's somebody that's suffering so bad they can't express themselves because, you know, they have, you know, in... Trust me, it's always somebody that's struggling worse than you are. So you have to give thanks each day for where you are in your life. So when I wake up, I say, oh, thank you, Father, for waking me up again. Pain and all, I'm telling you. Because some days I wake up that I'm in tears, the pain is so bad. And other days I wake up like, I feel like dancing. I ain't got no rhythm. Never did. Never did. I ain't even going to act like I can. But that's the same two-step that I've been doing for 52 years. I ain't never been able to dance. But anyway, okay, let's get serious. The point I'm trying to make is be happy, be joyful for whatever's going on because it's always somebody worse off than you. And that sizzle that you hear is my hot dog, okay? Because I have to eat some, I'm starving. But I have to do the... um the end to this video because if I sit down I'm done for the day so I just want to finish up so at this point in the video we always breathe in and breathe out and I encourage you if this not what you want to do breathe in and breathe out find a way to center yourself every night when everything is finished when your all your chores are done when all your running around is done and you can finally breathe I encourage you to find a way to breathe in breathe out or to find some type of Zen and meditation in your life okay it's time to breathe in and breathe out you ready breathe in breathe out We are so grateful, Father. We are so thankful for another day. And I thank you, Father, for all my subscribers here on YouTube. I pray that all of you are having a wonderful day. I pray that all of you are doing everything you can to live a stress-free life. Do everything you can to live your very best life. That's what we do here. We find ways to live better than we did the day before. So wherever you're headed today, to work, to school, to the gym, to the bakery, wherever you're headed today, be happy, be joyful, put a smile on your face, but most of all, remember to treat people with respect, okay? So if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click the bell so you're notified every single time that I put a video out. Come on, you know you want to see how we saving money over here. You want to see the laundry app that I love. Such so share. I threw that in there. But anyway, join my channel. It's $1.99 a month. Come on, Positive Patch. I encourage you to join my channel. It's $1.99 a month. It's the price of a cup of coffee, and it'll help support me here, and you'll give a blessing to my channel to help me to come here every day. So, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I pray that you have a blessed day. So, whatever you do today, be happy, okay? And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.